Mm, out of coffee. And it's cold. Hey, let's make something different. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another diorama. Um, got the coffee because it's early in the morning. So today's diorama, we're going to try this. Now I've seen a couple of YouTube videos and I kind of was interested in seeing what they were doing. Um, this is going to be a floating uh, rock with a nice big tree in it uh, with a waterfall coming out of it on a base. Uh, might even try to incorporate a light in there. I'm not sure yet. Or it, it, it is what it is. So yeah, this is what we're doing. So first thing I did yeah was i just gathered up some scrap pieces glued them together you know just to make a thickness of how big you want it don't want it massive it doesn't really matter um and uh then we drew out the shape of our piece so there's the hole that we want as where the water's coming out of and this is going to be the floating rock so what we did is we got our box on we're ready to go and we're just going to cut the shape of it, all right? So just very carefully. And again, like I said before, that when there's hot glue involved, you have to be very slow because you don't want to wreck your machine. All right, that's one piece. Very simple to do. I need to have to go slow because I can feel the hot glue hitting it there. Our second piece, so we sort of got that roundest, and then we're also just going to cut off the excess here, which is just a straight line ish kind of thing, doesn't have to be perfect. I've all made, and then what I'm going to do is just cut off a little bit of this piece here. So we have the shape, then. All we're going to do is sort of cut into the, to the mountain itself. A couple of scraggly pieces. Like so. You see that? Just so it has that odd look of rocks. And then we could add some more after too if you really wanted to. That would help. So we'll just randomly go about cutting pieces any which way you want it. These side cuts out so it doesn't look straight. If your pieces are a little bit off, so the, so these are those side cuts. Take a little bit of hot glue and we'll glue it together. Step a little bit. This way you have a form. Okay. Um, also, I don't know, I just. Sometimes the rock forms are just a little bit off. That's fine. All right. Get cleaned up. We're back. So all we did was add little bits and chunks to the build and also dug out the hole. So next step, now you don't want to be doing this, you know, don't breathe shit in. I'm doing it far enough, plus I got a vent here. So all I want to do is heat up and get these things, these our styrofoam, it's a different kind of rocky texture. We tried this in the last videos and uh, it worked really well. So just by lightly heating up your styrofoam, sort of melting it, and then giving it a, you know, a totally, completely different texture. Plus it hardens it up. Fluid. We'll just use our dark cumin. Just to continue with this. Also, you'll take off the sharp edges of your your build. So it just doesn't look like styrofoam. Alright, once you're happy with it, look, this is what you get. Okay, also that doesn't make it, this is sort of hardens it up. 
what we're going to do is take our wood filler and I'm just going to add this to the mix. Now, I like to really water down our wood filler. We get more out of it. <laughs> everywhere it sort of see, put the seams in it. it does not do much just to put the seams together all right so i'll show you this i'll finish this up over it so i just want to show you guys i got it covered in the wood filler everywhere so this is going to take a while to dry so we're going to let that set on its own and then I wanted to show you sort of what I do for the waterfall. So this is one of those face masks that you can get at the dollar store. All you have to do is cut it out to whatever size you want. Obviously, you know, it's going to go like that. And then all I did was took some hot glue and uh, went everywhere on it. So that's going to be the water concept. We're also going to use probably a little bit of epoxy to drip down there. And then, you know, yeah, just kind of paint around it so this stuff has to set up it's going to take probably a day so this will be probably part one of our build we're going to try to make these shorter videos so whatever and then it'll add up to being done all right so thanks for watching stay tuned for part two